There is one thing we can all agree on, that the Ackman's remonetization has truly the most delicious justice we have ever tasted. But there's one person in particular who got triggered by that fact, and that is Quantum TV. So yeah, this is going to be my final response of Quantum TV officially. And after this, don't expect me to make another video of him ever again. And I know you're all thinking, Blue X, how the fuck are you going to prove this? Well, in actuality, with this new information, I just found out that he has an alternate account, known as Controversial Truth. So yeah, that was the same account that he used to ban evade, pretty much, thanks to the Ackman's deleted video, which no longer exists. Luckily, there's people re-uploading that video in particular, so yeah, it's already become public knowledge at this point. And apparently, he made a video titled, Ackman gets re-monetized and I'm supposed to care. <laughs> That's pretty ironic because if he doesn't really care about Ackman gets re-monetized, then he probably didn't make the video to begin with. So, yeah, you should probably retitle the video anyway, so, yeah, that's kind of aged poorly. So, um, yeah, with that being said, let's have some fun. That's disturbing. So, in a typical fashion, here I am, minding my own business, making my videos for me and my community. Then I get a wave of random dislikes out the ass for no reason, and then a bunch of hateful comments again. And I'm like, what in the actual fuck could have possibly have happened, right? I'm sorry, I'm gonna have to press X to doubt on that one. If you're really just minding your own business and moving on with your life, making videos for your community, then you wouldn't be responding to the sake of the drama. I mean, hell, you have videos on your channel that basically surrounding this drama, but for some reason you just had to remove them because you know your ass got caught. And most dislikes and hate comments you got are either someone who thinks you have a bad take, or they just personally don't like your video. Now, if there are some people out there that dislike bomb your videos for no reason, maybe. But labeling every single viewer that dislike your videos is somehow dislike bombing your videos for no other reason just for a sake of it, it's just fucking asinine to be honest. Not everyone on the internet is going to dislike your bomb videos for no reason whatsoever. And that's just part of the internet, my dude. You just have to reap what you sow. Because I'm not doing anything to anybody. I'm making my videos, right? So I go and I literally read some of what you guys are saying. And, and it's literally, Actman got his monetization back just to let you know, have a good day. You lost. Hold this L. Actman is back. Like a bunch of shit like that. Are you motherfuckers stupid? Okay. Did you just roast yourself? That's pretty rich coming from someone who once threatened mischief with a false DMCA strike on his comment section, back when mischief was a small channel at the time. Let's not forget to mention that you stalk everyone else's comment section threatening with the false DMCA strikes. I could list a few, but I think we're going to be here all day. But apparently, we're fucking stupid for calling him out. How dare we call him out for the actions that he has done. Oh, poor you. The act man, in his own fucking, you know, lack of, I guess, transparency with you guys, failed to mention the fact that, A, he knew why he got demonetized. It was his own fault. Had nothing to do with Quantum TV. He lied on the Phil DeFranco show, that shit got exposed. And you motherfuckers ran to hashtag justice for act man for a fucker that did it to himself. Ooh, did you get that? No! Um, Quadum, 
The only reason why he didn't come out and write and say it because he wanted another YouTube support team to come out and basically said, yeah, this is the reason why he got removed, is to cover your bases and please do not try to play the victim card. You were part of this. Now granted, you were not influenced by it, but you're still part of the story, believe it or not. YouTube is basically an old person, basically. They didn't get the joke that was right in front of them, and they basically went the easy way out, just like YouTube always does. This isn't anything new, really. Okay, and it wasn't even a permaban, which I said from day fucking one of the shit. It's just a fucking suspension. And he could have reapplied on July 8th. Go watch every single video talking about Ackman's channel got demonetized and his whole YouTube career is over and they sided with Quantum TV and all this dumb shit. In every single one of those videos showing that email or that takedown of his monetization, you'll see it says he can reapply on July 8th. And what happened shortly after he got his shit back? I mean, how, how are you not fucking catching up on that? It was never an indefinite ban. It was never permanently taken away. And it never had anything to do with me. Like I said before, Quadum, you were part of this, and you were the main discussion that were happening here on YouTube. But, you were right about one thing. What he said in those satirical tweets was completely his own goddamn doing, and I had to agree with you on that. Looking back at those tweets, and I was like, hey, I guess he's a little bit too far. But that was more of a heat of a moment, really. I guess, for once, I had to agree with him for once. For once, I had to agree with him for once. Jesus fucking Christ, I, I guess the world is about to end if I actually agreed with him. That's a scary thought. But here come all you little fucks. Coming on to my shit, talking your shit, running your mouth, doing what you do best. And it proves something, okay? That Act Man, his friends, his community of gamers, loser gamers, okay? And yeah, I said losers, because that's all you are, okay? Sitting here with nothing better to do than to harass somebody that doesn't give a fuck one way or another. It's not my revenue. I don't give a fuck if he has it or if he doesn't. He can make $8.5 billion tomorrow, and it changes my life no more than it changes yours. But what you do is way more important, right, Quadum? It's not like you told the Elden Ring community to commit fucking Sudoku or anything! It, it's, it's a challenge, and it has to be for players who think every game is fucking easy, and if you aren't one of those players, then you are a scumbag, you filthy casual. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. At the end of the day, go kill yourself, man. What is wrong with you? But apparently, we're the gamer losers, right, Quadum? Nah, it's not like that you called the Actman's mother in order to attempt to silence him through criticizing you, right, Quadum? It's not like you tried to copyright strike Respion's video who are critical of you, right? Nah, you just wanted attention from the internet. That makes you a disgusting locale. And the moment the Ackman gets re-monetized, you got so triggered. It triggers you so bad and you know it's true because it hurts you so bad. That's why you make a video trashing the Ackman again. Because you do not want to let that shit go because you're a disgusting locale. And the amount of irony from you is the most disappointing thing i ever seen. That was truly pathetic. Okay, I don't give a fuck that he got monetized no more than I did when he got his shit taken away. But what I, I do care about is this misconception being spread around like it's somehow my fault that he got his shit taken away. And like YouTube sided with me. They don't side with anybody, dude. Like they just do what they think they can do with their policies, you know, whatever seems right for them, okay? And for those of you who are watching this video have no idea what Quattro meant by that, 
I believe he was talking about how people made videos about YouTube sided with Quantum TV and all that jazz. What they're talking about is that he received email from YouTube contact support. It's not about Ackman's getting demonetized. Learn to stick up the story next time, please. I'm just gonna skip the part when he mentions that the Ackman has to wait out the suspension be lifted so I don't have to say, yeah, I agree. What he says, satirical tweets has gone a bit too far a little bit. So we're just gonna skip it. You, you're proving how stupid you are. Because let me tell you this, this fucking loser act man wants to jump up and down talking about a dragon never yields and, oh, I'm going to get quantum terminated and all this flexing of might that he didn't have. Then when that failed, runs and bites YouTube's hand and then they slap him to the floor and then now he knows to shut up and now he knows his place, right? He knows not to start that shit with YouTube again, right? So you have come this far and still you understand nothing. Okay, um, Quadum, you need a reality check, and you need to learn why people just don't like you. For Actman in particular, he learned his lesson, he went out of turn that YouTube does not agree with. And what do you think the Actman did next? Did he just throw a temper tantrum? Or did he insult a team YouTube? For calling them homophobic slurs? Something like that? Well, actually no. He apologized, he moved on, and never tried that shit again. That's what a mature adult would do. You, on the other hand, continue to copyright strike people who are critical of you on the internet. That separates you from the act man. And that's why people just don't like you. You chocrodite. Now magically it's not about a dragon never yields and all this other shit he was talking about when he started trying to get me canceled. Because the truth is it was never about that shit. He was just upset and doing shit to retaliate for the sake of retaliation. You all know that. That's 90% of you watching this video right now. You're just running your mouths, talking your shit because you can. And you still can talk your shit and you still will. But the point is, it's like Nobody fucking cares, man. Like, who gives a shit the punk bitch got his monetization back? Nobody cares. It does not affect me. I'm gonna kill myself! Wow. I'm going to kill myself and it's your fault! Then why did you make the video, you fool? If the Ackman's remonetization does not affect you or your channel, then you wouldn't make the video to begin with! That means I wouldn't felt the need to make a response of you today. Like, how? I cannot. How can anyone be this willfully ignorant, this stupid, nonsensical? Say all you want about cancel culture, because it can be a fucking disgusting disease that needs to be eradicated. But there is a clear difference between cancel culture and holding someone accountable accountable like your homophobic tweets and I know you're thinking quantum those are just hack tweets guys just ignore that those are just hack tweets man like motherfucker if that were the case why not bring it up two few years ago the moment you saw those hack tweets you would delete them the moment you saw it, problem solved. It makes less sense for you to delete it since recently the moment someone called you out for being a homophobic bigot. Let's just say, let's just pretend that your claim of being hacked was true, right? If that were the case, then the hackers would probably just leave those homophobic tweets up. The ones that you, you claim that you never made, right? It makes less sense for hackers to basically delete those hack tweets if they're trying to paint you as a homophobic bigot. That makes no sense. It doesn't make sense. 
Let's not forget the fact that you made a... I don't know what kind of movie it's called. I believe it's called, like, Black Panther Movie. Is that what it's called? And apparently you called the voice actress a half-breed. What? What the fuck? That is fucked up for calling people that. You still hold these bigoted views, man. I don't know what to say other than you're a disgusting piece of shit, Quadum. I, I can't fathom. I don't know what to say, man. You are fucked in the head. Now, my advice to everybody who is still holding on to this for whatever reason is to see it for what it is. You know, you're talking about somebody who put their foot in their mouth, who has so many racist takes in their past sitting here trying to get somebody canceled and, and, and you want to sit here and you want to have your cake and eat it too. Either you care about this shit that you claim you care about or you don't, you know, you, you can come at it every which way from Sunday. Y'all can believe what you want at this point. Everybody in this fucking video has their mind made up as to whether they think I'm some sort of bad person or not. Believe what you want. Believe what you want. Believe what you want. Believe it. Okay, you you what? Fuck it. Just fuck it. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I'm sorry guys, I can't continue this any further. And I apologize that I lose my co fucking composure. Now do you understand why this is my final response of Quadrum TV? Because he always brought up consistently the same talking points about how the Ackman still holds this bigoted views even though he already apologized those bi bigoted tweets and he just becomes a better person for it I don't know why I had to explain this I, I really need a break making commentary videos for a while and please, for the love of God, do not expect me to make another Quantum TV video ever again. And for those of you who are still watching this video, do not go out and harass anyone I mentioned in this video. Otherwise, you're no different than the individuals I talk about in this video. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, if you do give a like, Subscribe if you're new to my channel, follow me on social media, and hit the notification bells for my future videos. I make Let's Play content more often, that much is obvious, and sometimes I put memes and commentary videos here and there, but overall I make Let's Plays for the most part on my, on my main channel. Hey. If you want me to do gaming news on this channel, let me know in this video's comment section down below. So, yeah, see you all later. And now if you excuse me, I'm gonna go play Stray. At least that game doesn't make me want to kill myself. Oh, brother, this guy's...